Hi there, it's your girl Gretchen. In today's conversation about narcissistic abuse, I wanted to talk about projection. This is not a new word to you. You've heard this word before, but I wanted to talk a little bit more about how narcissists love to go to this in their toolbox. It really looks similar to hypocrisy. So let's talk about the difference real quick. My ex-husband had ADD and he would very frequently talk way too much long past when someone had lost interest in what he was talking about. He wouldn't pay any attention to any social cues they were giving him that they were tired of listening. Um, but you know, he would keep talking at the same time. There was someone we both knew who did something kind of similar and he would always talk about how this person had a hard time reading social cues. And you're like, uh, that person's just like you. What are you talking about? But that's more of a hypocrisy thing where he's holding somebody else to a different standard who he does engages in that exact same activity. Projection is a little more about taking something that you definitely have or are or do and accuse somebody else of it. And, and they don't do that or have that. Um, a great example of this is going to be cheaters. You'll very often find people who are cheating on their significant other saying that they suspect that the significant other is cheating, even though they don't have any proof of that, any reason to believe it, and they definitely are the one doing the cheating. That's kind of how the conversation will go. You'll also see it a lot with politicians who try to re regulate things related to homosexuality, and then they're the ones who get caught propositioning people in the restroom or something, and you're like, oh, that was you. Um, for me, what it looked like was during my smear campaign, he had started telling everybody that I have borderline personality disorder. And this was before I really had my arms around what a personality disorder looked like. And before I had come to the conclusion that he's a narcissist. Um, so it was kind of ironic that that was what the projection was, you know, just given that that became such a big piece of my healing was understanding narcissistic personality disorder. Uh, he had been seeing a psychiatrist a little bit before he left me, like a few months before he left me, he started seeing this person and um, they were the one, I think that they were involved in changing his medication. So when he left, I was like, I want to go see this person with you. And he said no. And then a few months later, that's when it got back to me that he was telling everybody that I had borderline personality disorder. And I think that maybe the psychiatrist had diagnosed him with that, or maybe had agreed with me that it's narcissistic personality disorder. So once he learned what that was and, and learned more about it, that's how it became an object of this projection. Cause we had never talked about personality disorders before that. Um, and obviously I don't have a personality disorder. Um, none of the, the list of things that he included in his reason why he thought that I did apply to me, but it was interesting how many of them applied to him once it was broken down like that. So be on the lookout for that kind of thing. Um, just in general, cause I know that there are people who use it who aren't narcissists. Um, and when you're listening to somebody talk about somebody that you know, and you hear them describing themselves, accusing the other person of having, doing, or being something, you might be listening to someone who's engaging in projection. All right. Have a great day.